Good, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, my name is Jeremy Borg, and I am the proprietor and winemaker of Painted Wolf Wines here in Pal in South Africa. And I'd like to welcome you into our our den. This is our beautiful Painted Wolf tasting room, um, and it's actually carved out of old wine tanks, these big old concrete wine tanks. And our tasting room is actually situated in what was the very first cooperative wine cellar built in South Africa in, in 1906. So, um, Painted Wolf Wines was founded 15 years ago, um, in, uh, in 2007, and um, it is basically a family and friends wine company, and we founded our company uh, in order to, in addition to make wine, in order to help um, sustainably fund uh, conservation. Um, my wife and business partner Emma and I um, used to work in the safari industry in Botswana a very long time ago and um, we actually made a bit of a pact with one another on our wedding day that we'd try and do something to help with conservation and anyway life went on and Painted Wolf Wines is, is actually what allows us to do this. It allows us to raise the money for, for conservation. So the wine I have um, today actually is a, our Den Sauvignon Blanc, um, right over here. Um, the Den is, is a, a range of, of wines that we call comfort wines. Actually, this is this tasting that we're sitting in, we also call our Den. Um, and the wines are, are made very much with the, with the idea of them being soft and approachable, but really good examples of their type. Um, this wine is produced in grapes sourced from two grape producing areas in, in the Western Cape in South Africa. The one area being Darling and the other being the Swatland. The Darling area is, is a cooler wine producing area which produces um, fruit that has a little bit more herbaceous characters, a little bit more fig characters. Um, and then the Swatland is a warm, dry wine producing area which, um, which produces fruit that is more tropical in character. And what we're trying to do with this wine, which is just fabulous by the way, is to, is to get a nice balance between um, that more kind of herbaceous Sauvignon Blanc um, kind of cat pee type, um, type of characteristic and something a little bit more tropical and approachable. So the wine is also, the acidity of the wine is also quite soft. It's quite a gentle wine, it's quite mouth-cutting. So, um, it's actually really yummy. So, yeah, so I mentioned that, that, that um, we were founded um, uh, 15 years ago in 2007. Um, and uh, when Painted Wolf Wines um, uh, started, we looked around for a a conservation project to, to work with. Um, we, we t our company name is taken from the scientific name for an African wild dog, which are still in this painting right behind us. Um, and they are the rarest large mammal in Southern Africa, incredible charismatic carnivore. Um, some of you might have seen the BBC um, Dynasties uh, series that's called Painted Wolves, and give you an idea of, of, of what these animals are like. Um, they are very rare, as I just mentioned, and they have complex conservation issues. And these make them even more interesting for us. Um, and anyway, over the, over the years, we've um, partnered with a number of different conservation organizations. And in UK, um, our conservation partner is, is the Tusk Trust. So basically, 5% of my revenue from every single bottle of wine that we're sold is donated to, to Tusk. And recently Emma was in the United, in the, um, in the United Kingdom and she made a donation of, of about 8,300 pounds um, to Tusk, which would have been sales made in UK for the past 15 or 16 months or something like that. Um, and we've, met, we've uh, had a succession of, of, of um, uh, donations um, prior to that. Um, I think it's somewhere over, I'm going to say, forty thousand pounds, maybe since since we first um, since we first started. Um, uh, yeah, and that and that money is used by Tusk to 
to help fund three different conservation organizations that we have alignment to, one of which is called the Botswana Perimeter Conservation Trust. The other is, is an organization called Painted Dog Conservation, which is in Zimbabwe in a place called Hwangi. And the third one is the Lofeld Wild Dog Project in the, in, the, um, in the south of Zimbabwe. Painted Wolf Wines does not own any vineyards. We buy grapes from um, a number of, of different grape producers. And for the last 15 years, we've rented cellar space from various people. But I'm absolutely delighted to say that about 25 yards from where I'm sitting right now is another considerably larger space than the one that we're in now. And that is going to be populated with winemaking equipment. And in the 2023 harvest, which is coming up in February next year, we'll process our first grapes in this site. Um, I mentioned to you that this is an old cooperative wine cellar and actually they haven't made wine here for, for more than 25 years. So it's really nice to, to re-establish a tradition in this building of, of, of winemaking again. Um, thank you very much for all the support that you give us and I do hope that you enjoy our Sauvignon Blanc. Cheers.